Hi everyone. Uh, I had a number of patients ask me which should I take, the Moderna or the Pfizer vaccine. So instead of telling you which one to take, I'm going to tell you exactly what I tell them. The first thing to understand is that these vaccines are messenger RNA vaccines. I'm going to do a separate video on how messenger RNA works because it's a bit lengthy, but just understand that this is brand new technology and we have never had a messenger RNA vaccine before. It's been proposed, it is exciting technology, but it is brand new. Uh, the second is that the Pfizer vaccine has 30 micrograms of messenger RNA, whereas the Moderna has 100 micrograms. So it's almost three times the dosage of the Pfizer. The Pfizer vaccine is very labile and breaks down easily once you thaw it out. And that's the one that requires the negative 70 degree refrigerator or whatever that temperature is, making it more challenging to ship and distribute. Whereas the Moderna doesn't require those low temperatures and appears to be a little bit more stable. Uh, both of them are two separate injections. As far as efficacy, Pfizer boasts 95% effectiveness, whereas Moderna, Moderna boasts 94. And that's basically saying a severe symptomatic infection resulting in hospitalization. Now, anecdotally, what I've noticed with my patients, with everybody I know, is that it seems like people with the Moderna vaccine get a much more intense secondary shot reaction than with the Pfizer. And if you look at it from a common sense standpoint, if there's three times as much product in the Moderna, it's going to activate your body three times as much compared to the Pfizer. Now, is that true? I'm just saying that as a physician and what I've been seeing, that's what I believe to be true. And since the Pfizer and the Moderna are almost equal in their results, the Pfizer is 95, the Moderna is 94.1. Doctors amongst my social group have been asking, well, do you need that extra three times as much to get the result? We don't know the answer exactly. Um, but if you are in one camp where you want the vaccine, but you're a little bit concerned about this new technology, you don't know if there's going to be long-term ramifications, then I'd steer towards the Pfizer because it's got one third the amount. It appears to be 95% effective. Lowest effective dose is always a wise choice in medicine to avoid side effects that might be a good choice. If you're not worried about the technology and you want your biggest bang for your buck, then I would say go for the Moderna because it gives you three times as much uh, uh, product as Pfizer. Now, you might be in a third camp that says, I don't like this mRNA stuff, it makes me scared. Then the Johnson & Johnson one would be one that you're gonna be looking towards because that is made out of an attenuated virus which is a kind of a beaten down subversion that makes antibody uh, against COVID. Now that one is boasting 50 to 65% symptomatic infection, but is really good at preventing death and hospitalization, which believe it or not is really the only end game. We don't want people dying. We don't want people in the hospital. So if you're that third group that doesn't like the idea of this technology, go for the Johnson and Johnson. And then there's a fourth group that says, I don't want the vaccine at all. I don't believe in vaccines. Then you fit, in the group that really needs to focus on optimal health, optimal immune function. And that goes for everybody. If you want a good immune response, you should be getting all the nutrition you need, taking care of your health, controlling your blood sugar, controlling your hypertension, because the healthier you are, the more effective the vaccine is going to be. And the healthier you are, the less chance you're going to get a symptomatic infection, whether you've gotten the vaccine or not. So I hope that helps. Hope it helps you make a more informed decision. Please send us any questions you have. We can give you more content and look forward to seeing the end of this pandemic and getting back to normal. Thanks.